Oklahoma State had no intention of being Cinderella forever. The glass slipper and all that goes with it went by the boards in 1983. There was now an expectation of success around the Cowboy program. Recruiting had been good from 1981 and 1982. The 1983 Cowboys were expected to be in Omaha at season's end, even before the season started. The positive attitude had been created and a confidence was being developed. Robbie Wine ended up being a number one draft choice of the Houston Astros. He was the eighth player taken overall in the Major League Draft. Dennis Livingston became a starter and won a school and Big 8 record 15 ball game. Livingston led the nation in strikeouts in 1983 with 180. Freshman Pete Incavillia set the tone for future years by hitting 371 with a school record 23 home runs and driving in a school record 78 runs. Oklahoma State was beginning to dominate the Big 8 Conference. They won their third straight Big 8 championship. The NCAA Regional Tournament saw the Cowboys host Wichita State and Oral Roberts. Oklahoma State had grown as a group throughout the season. They beat Wichita State and twice defeated rival Oral Roberts to earn their return trip to the baseball showcase in Omaha. The Cowboys won their World Series opener by beating Stanford 3-1. Finally hit ball to right field. This could get out of here. Hits off the wall. Off the wall. Running third base as you see it has steaming home. With all the bases they rule it's a home run. National Power Texas was next. It was a classic ball game. The Cowboys grabbed the lead and had Longhorn ace Roger Clemens on the ropes. The Rocket left, but Texas rallied to win the game 5-4 in 10 innings. He scores standing up and against Oklahoma State went to the loser's bracket and had another classic duel with nationally prominent Arizona State. A 6-5 Sun Devil win left the Cowboys fifth in the nation again. You know, we went there in 83 with the idea that uh, that maybe, just maybe, we had the kind of talent to compete. Uh, realizing at this time that 81 was really a Cinderella year, and then maybe 82 we won more games with less talent than any time here, and I, uh, all of us had uh, a tremendous uh, flush of energy from 81, and 82 we rode that, and looking back in retrospect, 82 was not a real talented ball club. 83 was a club we thought maybe for the first time we had a chance, and we walk in there and beat a good Stanford ball club behind Dennis Livingston, a 3-1 win, beautiful baseball game and then uh, face Clemens with Eric Smith on the mound and he gets us uh, in extra innings 5-4 we lead 4-1 in the seventh and it's the first time an Oklahoma State club under Gary Ward had a situation in front of them that said we win this game we got a chance for a national title maybe the pressure was too great uh, we look back on that as the first time maybe uh, saying to ourselves we didn't have the experience and the, and the ability under fire to play with these great ball clubs but certainly in 84 we would have 